dank right, straight right. I can't fuck with none of that light, that shit, that flow. Man, all I got is bang, 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 bang. Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SFC. Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SFC. Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SFC. Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SFC. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Ray from the Bay. Hope you're having a last day. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time on my channel. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be making some fucking rosin, you guys. I'm so fucking excited, you guys. So I've been YouTubing on how to make rosin with a hair strainer, and I want to go ahead and try it out myself, you guys. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and make some fucking rosin. All right, you guys. Let's get started on making some rosin. So. Some basic things that you will need to make some rosin is gonna be a hair straightener. In this case, I'm gonna be using some flour. I'm gonna be using some cookies flour, the Project 4510. Some parchment paper. Some scissors to cut the parchment paper. Real quick, for those who don't know what rosin is, Basically what rosin is, is imagine all the THC, all the crystals, basically all the juices from your weed and imagine it getting juiced. So basically what a rosin press is, is you get two heated plates and you're gonna put your flour or key for whatever extract that you want right in the middle of it. And you're gonna take those two heat plates and you're gonna apply pressure and heat to basically squish your nugs and squeeze all the juices out. And basically that what rosin is. So I'm gonna show you guys basically what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be making rosin and hopefully it'll make a lot more sense to you guys. So let's get it, you guys. All right, you guys. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut up some of this parchment paper. We're going to be putting our flour in between the parchment paper and then squeezing the flour and getting all the juices out. And then we're going to trap all the juices in this parchment paper and we're going to collect our gas in here. So I ripped out a really big piece, but then I'm going to use multiple pieces from this. So that's what the scissors are for. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. I got two pieces right here. So I'm going to be pressing a whole eighth of flour, you guys. So I'm going to need a good amount of parchment paper. So I'm going to cut up a couple pieces. All right, you guys, so I got my parchment paper all cut up now. Let's go ahead and crack open the eighth and let's get to squishing. So what we're gonna be squishing today is gonna be the Project 4510 by Cookies, testing at 21.83%. Let's go ahead and bust her down. Ooh, okay. Mm. Let me go ahead and show you guys some close-up shots of the nugs. All right, you guys, check her out. This is the Project 4510 by Cookies. It is super trite. Wow, super frosty, purple colors. Kind of sad that I'm about to squish this, but the turps and the rosin is about to be fucking fire. Bro, this shit smells so sweet. I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of feel ashamed to squish this. I kind of actually want to just smoke it. But at the same time, I really wanted to make this rosin video for you guys, and I wanted to make sure I use some fire ass flour for the rosin. So why not the P Project 4510 by Cookies? Woo! All right, let's go ahead and put this in our parchment paper and let's prepare it for the squishing. All right, you guys, I already got my hair shredder preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, honestly, it all depends on the degrees. Honestly, I would recommend the lowest setting. However, since this hair shredder is kind of old and kind of cheap, I'm using this one right here. Um, I tried pressing some 
flour earlier at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but I didn't yield anything at all. So I kicked it up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and I yielded some pretty good rosin. So got it preheated at 250 degrees. Let's go ahead and put this to the side and prepare our flour for squishing. So we got our parchment paper right here, you guys. We're gonna take a nug. We're gonna place it right here in the middle. Then we're gonna fold over our parchment paper. Now what I like to do, especially since this nug is super dense, I like to take my grinder and I wanna go ahead and pre-squish the nug because if you don't pre-squish your nug and you try to just put it inside of your hair straightener, the nug is gonna fall out and it's gonna shoot out and you're just gonna annoy yourself. So, apply a lot of pressure, kind of squish out the nug. As you can see now, the nug is flat. Now we're ready for squishing. All right, you guys, so we got our bud all prepared now, ready for squishing. Let's go ahead and make sure we align it properly with our hair straightener. Now I like to use an oven glove. Then we're gonna apply pressure. As much pressure as you can. I like to do this for about 15 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, we got some rosin, baby. Let's go ahead and grab this parchment paper. Put our weed in here. And we got a little bit of rosin. Some plant material, but that's okay. We can get that out. So we're gonna do another squish. Got our paper all right here. Again, fold. I like to crease it right here. And we're just gonna apply same steps. Press down. Yeah, a little bit. So I got a good amount of flour right here and I already got one prepared. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep on squishing you guys. So. All right, you guys, so I finally got done pressing that eighth of flour. Let me just say, you guys, my hand fucking hurts, man. But check it out, you guys. We've got a good amount of yield. Not hella, but I mean, for an eighth of flour, we got a good amount of rosin, you guys. So check the shit out. Tell me that doesn't look sad as fuck, you guys.
right, you guys, so you saw all the rosin that we just pressed. I got a dab tool right here. Let's go ahead and collect the rosin and go and start dabbing, you guys. All right, you guys, we are all finally finished with making our rosin. Check her out. It's my first time squeezing flour. Got a little bit of plant material in here, but ain't no thing. She smells fucking crazy though, you guys. All right, you guys, now we got our rosin all made. Let's go ahead and take a fucking dab, you guys. Hell yeah, fresh rosin, just get it. Woo. Man, that was a fucking process, you guys. It was my first time squishing flour, you know, pressing in rosin, especially with a hair straightener. But we got it done, you guys, check her out. She got a little bit of plant material in there, but it's all good. She smells fucking amazing. All right, you guys, now here comes the best part. Let's get our dab rig heat up, and let's go ahead and take that first taste test. I'm fucking excited, y'all. Let me know in the comment section below if you ever squished flour before, if you ever did this process. It was my first time doing this, you guys, so I'll be real with you. I was kind of struggling at first. I was like, bro, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, because I keep fucking up, but your boy finally got it down. And let me tell you, this shit right here smells fucking fire, y'all. I'm hell excited to take this dab. Especially since it's some concentrate that I made myself. I made this myself? Bro, what? Come on now. Super proud stoner moment right now, you guys. Dabbing my first concentrate. <laughs> Woo, baby. Mmm. It fucking smells fuego. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Project 4510 Rosin Fresh. Let's go ahead, guys. Cheers. Oh my God, you guys, the flavor of that was fucking ridiculous, man. Holy. Super, super clean. Didn't even choke. Super smooth all the way from the inhale all the way out to the exhale. That's fucking nuts, you guys. Like, on my taste palettes, I can still taste a Project 4510. Like, wow, you guys. Let's take another dab, for real. All right, you guys, Project 4510. Rosin, dab number two. Cheers. Ooh. 
Man, that flavor is something ridiculous, man. That shit tastes like straight up fucking ice cream. Woo! Fucking delicious, you guys. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video on how to make rosin with a hair straightener. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave me some love in the comment section below, you guys. Once again, it's your boy Ray from the Bay, and we signing out this bitch. Yee! I made my own fucking rosin, boy. Come on.